Okay, I'm back uh, to um, talk to you today about conflict. In this video, we're going to analyze the difference between conflict and complication. So for all of you fifth grade literary gurus out there, our learning target. So by the time you're done watching this video, you should be able to explain conflict. All right, so when we look at conflict, all right, I notice I've got that one bubbled or circled because conflict versus complications. All right, if we move in on that. So conflict, that is the main problem of the story. All right, so basically if we extract or take away that problem from the story, we have no story. So when you do that, that's how you can test. Is this the main problem in the story? If you take away that, iso or we isolate that one problem, and we remove it, do we still have a story? If so, you have not identified the main problem. All right, so the conflict in a story is the main problem in the story. So versus complications. Now, there are many complications that occur uh, as the story unfolds. As you're moving up that rising action, that main character goes through uh, there's many little things that stand in the way of that character solving their main conflict. All right, so that's that's what you ha that's what you have to look at when you're deciding is this the main conflict or is it just a complication that's occurring? All right. So now, if we've identified we, once we've identified that main conflict, we look at it. And we go, okay. So is the conflict is it an internal conflict or an external conflict? All right. There's those two types: internal versus external. So. If it's an internal conflict, it's easy. It's a clear choice. It's simply character versus self. The character is having some kind of internal emotional kind of struggle. All right, so let's use the Tiger Rising, for example, because we've all read that book. One of the internal conflicts that Rob was having was trying to uh, was was that should he let the tiger go or not? All right, he was feeling a lot of pressure from Sistine. He knew that it was would be very dangerous if he let the tiger go, <clears throat> but he knew that he would stand to lose a friendship with Sistine, however, if he chose not to let the tiger go. So that was character versus self. He had to have this internal struggle within himself before he made a choice, okay? So that's an internal struggle that sometimes the character has, okay? So now, let's move on to external, care, uh, external conflicts. So when we look at external conflicts, there's actually three different choices to choose from. Now, we can break it down and, and further, and you'll learn that as you move on beyond fifth grade. You might talk about character versus machine, character versus technology, just some different things, breaking these things down a little bit further. But for our practical purposes for fifth grade, we're going to talk about character versus character, character versus nature, and then finally, character versus society. All right, so taking a closer look at character versus character. All right, that's what we're talking about when there's a conflict between one character or a struggle between one character and another character. So again, looking at Tiger Rising, an example of character versus character would be um, Rob against um, uh, against the bullies, you know, the Three Monger Brothers, uh, how they were constantly bullying, it, bullying him. And at times there were conflicts between him and Sistine as well. So that's character versus character. It's an external type of fight, all right, either physically or with words. All right, so then let's take a look at character versus nature. All right, so with character versus nature, you're talking about, um, you know, maybe it's something, uh, um, you know, with an animal. It might be something with the weather, you know, perhaps, um, perhaps it's, you know, a storm that passes through, a hurricane, a tornado. Uh, but it can also be something like a sickness, a disease, would be actually character versus nature, okay? And then moving on to uh, looking at character versus society. So when we look at character versus society, we're talking about when a character has a struggle between um, it's them against the law or um, the standards and norms that society sets for us, okay? So... Um, Hopefully you can explain the difference between a conflict and a complication now. And then when you look at conflict, you can determine between internal versus external. And know that, so for testing purposes, when we test, go to test on conflict, you're responsible for knowing the difference between what's an internal conflict and an external conflict. And then the type of, in, there's only one type of internal conflict. However, we have three main types of external conflicts to choose from. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you and uh, in learning the difference between conflicts and complications in a story and then in determining the types of conflict. 
All right, um, next time we will talk about characters and how do we analyze and evaluate our characters in our stories. Thanks for watching.